Hello and welcome to the tutorial on subtraction. In this tutorial we will learn how to subtract a four-digit number and a three-digit number and we're going to do this using the vertical format. Now we're going to apply the same principles we've used previously. Let's begin with our first example. What is five thousand four hundred and thirty six minus two hundred and nine? As always, I like to label the columns because I can explain this a lot simpler that way. So we've got units, tens, hundreds, and thousands. Okay, we're ready to go ahead and do the subtraction. As always, we start on the right-hand side first. So let's show our workings over here. We've got 6 minus 9. Now 6 minus 9 is something we cannot do because 6 is smaller than 9. Now, I'm sure you know what to do next. We're going to take one from the column to the left, the tens column. So let's cross out the three. Three minus one is two. And the one we have taken from there, we're going to move to the units column. So therefore the units is now 16 minus nine. 16 minus nine is seven. So let's write that down, seven. Now we're going to do the tens column. We've got two minus zero. Two minus zero is two. Let's write that down. Let's just write that again. That's a bit of a wobbly two. Okay. Now we're going to do the hundreds column. Now for the hundreds, we have four minus two. Four minus two is two. Now as for the thousands, well, the five, it's five minus zero, so that remains five. Therefore, 5,436 minus 209 is 5,227. Okay, so that's our first example done. We're now going to move on to our second example. This time we have 8,742 minus 364. Let's label the columns again. Okay, we're ready to do the subtraction. Starting on the right-hand side, we have the units 2 minus 4. Now, because 2 is smaller than 4, this is something we cannot do. We're going to take 1 from the tens. So let's cross out the 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. And the 1 we have taken from here, we're going to move across to the units column. So the units has now become 12 minus 4. The 12 minus 4 is 8. So that's the units column done. Now let's move to the tens column. For the tens column we have 3 minus 6. Now 3 is smaller than 6, so we cannot do this. We're going to have to take 1 from the hundreds column. So let's cross out the 7. 7 minus 1 is 6. And the 1 we have taken from here we're going to move across to the tens. So the tens has now become 13 minus 6. 13 minus 6. 13 minus 6 is 7. So we can write that down. Now we're going to do the hundreds. Well, the hundreds is 6 minus 3. Now 6 is larger than 3. And we can do this. We don't need to move 1 from the thousands. 6 minus 3 is 3. And lastly, we've got the thousands column. We've got 8 minus 0. The answer is 8. 
Therefore, 8,742 minus 364 is 8,378. Okay, let's look at one more. Got 4,023 minus 648. Let's put a nice big equal sign here. Again, we're going to label the columns. We've got units, tens, hundreds, and thousands. Starting on the right-hand side, we've got 3 minus 8. So let's do the workings here. 3 minus 8. Now, 3 is smaller than 8, so we cannot do this. And you know the routine by now. Let's have a look at the tens. We're going to take 1 from here. So let's cross out the 2. 2 minus 1 is 1, and the 1 we have taken from here, we're going to add it to the units column. So the units has now become 13 minus 8. 13 minus 8 is 5. Okay, now let's do the tens. We've got 1 minus 4. Now again, 1 is smaller than 4, so we cannot do this. What we're going to do is, we're going to take 1 from the hundreds. But hold on, the hundreds is zero. So now we have to move one more to the left and we're going to take it from the thousands. So let's cross out the four. Four minus one is three. And the one we have taken from here, we're going to add it to the hundreds column. Okay, we're just going to change colors. Now the hundreds, we have 10. So we're going to cross out the 10. 10 minus 1 is 9. And the 1 from there we've taken across to add it to the 10s. So the 10s has now become 11 minus 4. 11 minus 4 is 7. So let's write that down. The tens. We've done the 10s column. Now the 100s column. We've got 9 minus 6. 9 minus 6 is 3. So let's write that down. And lastly, we've got the thousands column. We've got 3 minus 0. 3 minus 0 is 3. Therefore, our answer is 3,375. Just make sure you follow the same principles all the way through. So that is subtraction of a four-digit number and a three-digit number using the vertical format.